What's shaking guys? My name is Luke Dancy and today we're going to be talking all about the Haunted Box by Mr. Jao Miranda. Now this thing is really, really fun to use. It's fun to look at. Uh, and now it's going to be fun to tell you all about. So first I'm sure you're wondering, what is this thing? What does this box do? Well, I'm going to tell you. So hold on. Uh, this box, when you open it slowly, spirits and ghosts come out. And they float around the room and I'm just jerking your chain. Don't worry about it though. This box does do something really, really cool. So what goes on here is uh, a deck of cards is taken out. Spectator shuffles it up, they take out any card that they want, and they sign a card. Card goes back on the deck, and you introduce the box. The box is opened up, and it is placed in front of a spectator, opened up like this. Now, keep in mind, you do not have to hold the box. As a matter of fact, you could actually be in the other room if you want to. Um, they're left holding the deck of cards, and they deal cards one at a time into the box. And at some point, this guy closes by himself. The box closes up, and they're holding some cards, and you tell them to look at the next card, and that card is the sign card or the card they were thinking of, and that is what this does. This is totally self-working. Uh, the box does all the work for you. We're gonna get more into all that, but that is what this thing does. It basically allows you to reveal information uh, or a spectator's card in a very unique and different way. This thing's pretty damn cool. And of course, I can't tell you just about the box, but I wanna tell you about the creator, Jao Miranda, who I'm sure you're familiar with by now. You know, he's produced things like the Mental Pin, uh, the Vision Box, and a lot of other really cool and creative stuff. I got links below this video if you want to find out more of his work or check it out, which I think you should. So now you know about what this thing does, who it's by. Is it good? Well, I want to say up front, this thing feels and looks great. Uh, this is made by hand by Zhao and his team. Very important to note. And it doesn't look like a magic prop, which I think is very important. Uh, long ago, we used to get magic props that had the Chinese symbols on them or the Mylar stuff, you know, to make it look shiny and magical or whatever. This doesn't look like any of that. It looks like a normal box but it is anything but that. It's almost a shame that your spectators will never know how cool this thing is from the inside out. Um, but the trick is really cool too, but I wish we could show them sometimes because some of the things that we use, they would probably make people smile because they would have no idea what's going on. So when you get the box, it is packaged up very, very nice. I do want to say that. I, I was very impressed with that. The box came wrapped up. It had some nice tape on it to keep everything protected. It's got the Jean Miranda label on there. Hell, I wish I had Luke Dancy tape like that. That'd be pretty cool, huh? But anyway, inside the box, you do receive the gimmicks that you need to perform this and to get inside and to look at the box and to charge it up. We'll talk about that. And the card, which gives you the online instructional address and the password, obviously. Everything you need is included to perform the stuff that you need. And then I started to look at the box, which looks like nothing more than just a regular box. Uh, this is really impressive because when I started looking at it, I couldn't see anything that was going on. I couldn't figure out where the gimmick was or how it worked. Uh, and that's a really good thing as a magician. If I can't see it, you know, your spectators won't. Big win there. Also the durability here, uh, you're not gonna worry about someone finding out what's going on. There's not like a secret little spot that if they touch the wrong way, this, the way that this works, the way you get inside is very well protected as well. Uh, so that is very important to me, not only as a magician, but as a performer, because you know that sometimes people wanna get very handsy. They wanna to start to mess with stuff. And with this, there's nothing to worry about. Now let's get to the instructional part, which is 50 minutes long. It goes over how to use this thing, how to set it up. Initially, it takes about three hours to charge it up and the cables that you need to do that are included. This is an electronic piece of goodness, I wanna say that. Uh, so that's important to note. And the extra gimmicks that help this thing work too. Uh, so that's included on there. And on the instructional part are different presentations and tricks that you could do with the box. And I really like that too. So first you get the signed card version. Someone takes a card, sign it, and you deal the cards and they find that card. There's also a version with a named card. They name any card uh, and you're able to perform the effect that way. There's also an effect with objects. You borrow some objects, you put them in envelopes and those envelopes are dropped one at a time into the box. If the box closes, you can tell them which object that they thought of or that they named. There's also a version with words. I think he does it with emotions. Um, and basically you write the name of things on the cards and then you're able to reveal the emotion. Uh, this would be a great living dead test. You know, have people write the name of people that are living and person that's passed and you can reveal it in a pretty cool way with the box, right? Um, those cards are not included. Uh, additional purchase, I think 25 bucks for those. And the nice thing is they're erasable and they do include the gimmick. So if you wanna pick up those, very easy to find. Um, that is also included and a kids show version, little kids presentation here, uh, which I like because it really does help to remind people that just because you buy a haunted box doesn't mean you have to perform it in a haunted presentation. So you got all the details about what you get with the box. You got all the details with what's on the instructional part. But tell me more, Luke, who was this for? Where would I use it? Well, here's the thing, guys. This would be great for a close-up show. You know, you got a show, people are there in front of you, you got your table, and this would fit perfect. Stage show would be great. Maybe add a camera, you can see people dealing the cards. Might play a little bit better with the camera, but you could play this on stage. 
because it is so hands-off again, and that's one thing I really like. And honestly, as a strolling walk-around performer, you could do this too if you were to just carry your props in the box. This does hold a deck of cards very comfortably. Plenty of extra room in there, so you could also add rubber bands or some other envelopes to do some minimalism or some other stuff. But everything that uh, you could probably have in a close-up back could probably fit in the box. So obviously, it's not going to fit inside of your pocket. It is about the size of your hand, um, so it's not going to fit there. Um, but if you are a close-up guy and, you, and you're doing restaurant work, which I used to do, just put this in your close-up bag and you're ready to perform a little extra thing for someone that comes back. Um, or, you know, that's what you could do with it. But the only place you really couldn't do it is street magic. It would look kind of weird to bring this, you know, around with you. And keep in mind, too, you could customize the box a little bit if you want. You, if you're a traveler, you could add some stickers on here. Uh, tell people stories that, you know, you've collected different things from different countries. Or this is just the standard edition. There's also a deluxe edition. Uh, which is a little bit more vintage looking. The box looks a little bit nicer. And then you have the limited edition, which is a more modern looking box. Um, they do go up in price. Let's get to the price point now. The one that I'm holding is 250 bucks. Uh, the one above that, the deluxe is 350 and the limited edition is 500. So this is not just a trick, this is an investment. And that's the main reason I wanted to do this review for you is so that you know that the quality is there, that this is well made, that it's by someone that you know, and that what you see is what you get here, and that the trick does work the way that you want it to. Um, it is an electronic piece of goodness here, I said that before, but Jean Morin is a very easy guy to get a hold of. He's all over the places at conventions now, so if you have any issues, I don't see that being a problem at all. He's very quick to respond to people in general, um, so if that is a concern, I wouldn't worry about that at all, to be honest with you. So there's my honest thoughts on the Haunted Box. I don't do a lot of reviews, because there's not a lot of really good stuff to tell you about. You know, I did one with Tarantula 2, which I love, and I know you guys are waiting on it. Again, this thing's much more than a regular trick, and that's why I wanted you to know that this is worth your money, it is worth your time. And don't forget, though, if you have any other questions about it, post them below this video in the comments section, and I can try to answer all those too. I have had a chance to play with it, I watched the thing, I know what's going on, so if you have any specific questions about, well, could I do this, could I do that? I'll give you all the details that you wanna know. All right, my friends, that's all I got for you with the Haunted Box, this one's a winner. It's from Jal Miranda, I'm not surprised. He's a great guy and this thing's pretty damn awesome too. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave some feedback below or give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know that you're out there and we'll be back again soon to do more videos just like this. That's it. Get out there, maybe pick up a haunted box, maybe grab another magic DVD, a trick. Whatever you do, just remember that you're not gonna get better as a magician by performing just for a camera. You gotta get out there for real people. That's how you get better. There is no shortcut to success. If you wanna be a better magician, and a performer. You got to get out there and perform in front of those real people. So do it to it. You guys get out of here. I'm back to this guy. Catch you next time.